मेरा मानना है कि अब गुजरात की विकास की यह यात्रा प्रधानमंत्री जी के नेतृत्व में एक नए उत्साह नई ऊर्जा के साथ नए नेतृत्व में आगे बढ़नी चाहिए ये ध्यान रखकर मैंने गुजरात के मुख्यमंत्री पद के दायित्व से त्याग पत्र दिया है just 15 months ahead of the gujarat elections bjp has now turned its attention towards changing guard in this state after uttarakhand and karnataka's bjp leaderships met the same fate this year in a swift movement gujarat got its 17th chief minister uh, bupendra patel took over and replaced vijay rupani easier for the bjp perhaps that's the question which we are asking this week in one take i'm pallavi ghosh <laughs> Now the BJP has done it not just in Gujarat but also in Karnataka and in Uttarakhand and in all these three states the elections are not too far away and the BJP was getting a sense that perhaps things may not be very smooth for them because in all these three states there is a backdrop of history for example in Gujarat in the 2017 state polls in a surprising performance the congress did very well Though after that one can argue that the Congress seems to have dissipated, it failed miserably as far as the local elections is concerned. There's a charisma of the Prime Minister, but remember, in the last pitch, the Prime Minister had to do at least 34 rallies to ensure that the BJP comes back to power in Gujarat. The BJP decided not to take any chances. Similar the situation in Uttarakhand, where there has been anger with all the previous Chief Minister, and that's why Dhami was made the new one. So same in Karnataka. Replacing Yadurappa is actually no mean task. He's been seen as a warlord, a very powerful Lingayat leader, and he has often arm twisted the central leadership. I think the BJP at the center was bidding its time. It was waiting for that perfect time in Karnataka where he could have been replaced, and there it was done. Do you hear a murmur from Yadurappa now? Well, no, not yet. And the BJP is hopeful that the results will go in their favor. But in all these three states, the Congress is getting belligerent. The Amadi Party is also inching their way through, and therefore the BJP decides not to take any chances. Of course, it's earned them a lot of barbs and ridicule, but the logic within the Saffron Party is very simple. Barbs and ridicules are fine. We are going to cope with that. What we are not fine with is losing elections. So if tomorrow we are going to win elections in three three states because we changed the guard over there, then it's an effort which is well worth it. and the ridicules and barbs are something which people are soon going to forget now cut to a comparison with say the congress party which also faces a somewhat similar problem in the three states on which in which they are in power on their own rajasthan chatisgarh as well as punjab punjab is the most glaring example now here is a case of where at least more than 30 to 35 mlas came here parked themselves in the national capital meets the central leadership gives it in writing that under the captain the congress cannot win in punjab ideally there should have been nothing to worry about because the akalis have been discredited because they were a part of the cabinet meeting in which the farm laws were passed aap is there but aap did not do well in the last state polls but more than that they don't have a sick face and punjab normally goes in as far as faces are concerned whether it's a captain whether it's a prakash singh badal and so on so it is an ideal situation if you do a comparison with the bjp for the congress top leadership to actually have a change of guard but no they could not do it because captain has now cultivated a cult for himself he's actually become a regional satrap and often at the cost of the central leadership sources often tell us and we're still going to wait uh, to know how to what extent this is completely true but what i have often been told is that the captain does not hesitate to show his disdain as far as the younger or the siblings of the gandhi family is concerned he shares a very good equation with sonia gandhi if anyone understands him and anyone understands her is actually the captain uh, who does uh, in that sense of josing sidhu uh, enjoys a better equation with both rahul and priyanka gandhi wadra Would it have been then easy for Sonia Gandhi to replace Captain? Well, no, because she realised that in comparison to Captain, the central leadership of the Congress Party is much, much weaker. He's a face. He's a powerful face. He could always whip up the emotive factor, and he's also an ex forgy. Let's not forget that. And he's always going to bounce back. And he's made it very clear that he is not in retreat. And he's going to give that jawab, a kara jawab, to Navjot Singh Sidhu at some point of time. That's as far as Punjab goes. So, what does the Congress Party do? the congress party 
chooses someone who's the most bitter enemy of the captain as the state chief, Navjot Singh Sidhu, and it's complete mayhem after there. So now you build up two power centers completely at loggerheads. So the party government unity that you were speaking about is not certainly happening in Punjab, and this could cost them the state, especially with the AAP now looking desperately for a sick phase and actually making major inroads and Kejriwal is going to play the role which the Prime Minister, for example, plays in Gujarat. That's as far as Punjab goes. Now look at Chhattisgarh. Again, it was a problem which could have been avoided. Zubhuri uh, Bagel, two and a half years rotation term, what does he do? He turns up over here on the day Rahul Gandhi calls a meeting with him and he flaunts his MLAs to make the point to a central leadership that, listen, you cannot ride over me. Inside closed doors, Rahul Gandhi did concede that he had made a promise of a rotation system and therefore it needs to be honoured. But he was told that he cannot do so because T.S. Singh Dio is not the right person. And it's not going to be easy to get rid of Bhupesh Bagel because they've never even thought of an alternative. Any change will not be smooth like it has been in the case of the BJP. So what are you having a situation in Chhattisgarh? Well, Bagel is going to use the rest of the time to do pretty much what he has done in the last two and a half years, apart from his administrative work. But now his focus will be more on saving the kursi. So it's going to be another mayhem and you know how it's going to impact as far as the next Chhattisgarh elections are concerned. Let's go back to Rajasthan now. Now Rajasthan again is a case of a central leadership which has been floundering. No denying the fact that he ha they have actually promised Sachin Pilot that that change will come. No timeline has been given, but a timeline for the cabinet reshuffle, which could have been the first step to increasing the power of Sachin Pilot, make him stronger as far as his supporters are, are concerned. That step has yet to be taken. Now his supporters are getting restless and it's very clear that Ashok Helot is actually calling the shots. In these three states, in these three cases, what is it that comes out when you draw a comparison to the BJP? that it's a weak central leadership. It's easy to shuffle your pack when you're in command. It's not so easy to do so when actually you're under pressure yourself. If you look at a report card of performance in the last state polls in all the five states, the Congress party hasn't won at all except in Tamil Nadu, which they were riding piggyback on the DMK, therefore no credit to them. So therefore Rahul Gandhi's report card as someone who can deliver in terms of electoral victory, that certainly is a complete zero which means the state leaders turn out to be more and more powerful than the central leadership. That's not the case as far as the BJP is concerned. Yes, the BJP has had setbacks in certain state elections, for example, in West Bengal. But overall, Modi comes across as extremely powerful. The central leadership of the BJP also comes, off, comes across as being extremely powerful and therefore it's easy for them to shuffle the pack, to change the chief minister without a murmur. You'll have a Nitil Patel, for example, breaking down in tears, making it very uh, obvious that, you know, he wanted to become the chief minister if you had to choose a Patel. But at the end of the day, who was the one who decided at the central leadership? They'll all have to fall in line. In the Congress party, they have been earlier attempts, but long time back, I remember in YSR, Raj Shekhar Reddy unfortunately died in an aircraft. They appointed Rosaya as the chief minister. He had to be changed in a couple of months because he was a completely no-show. You had Kiran Reddy who eventually left the Congress, then came back to the Congress party. But it was such a weak state leadership that ultimately Andhra Pradesh has gone back to the son of one of the most powerful regional satrap, that's why Sir Vijay Jagan Mohan Reddy is the chief minister. And today the Congress party is fighting for relevance and existence in Andhra Pradesh. This is exactly what we were talking about this week. These musical chairs, do they work in elections? Well, the results will have to be seen in Gujarat, in Karnataka uh, and in Uttarakhand. If the BJP wins in these three states, so, uh, definitely the credit will be given to the fact that they went in for a change of guard and therefore it worked. Now look at in Assam, for example, Sonowar was a sitting CM but never was he declared as a chief minister should the Kong party come back to power in the state. So therefore, Hemant Bishwa Sarma, who certainly has that clout, has been made the chief minister. The BJP can afford to shuffle the packs and ignore the ridicules and barbs because the central leadership is strong. The Congress, unfortunately for itself, is not in that kind of a situation. And therefore, a change of guard at the state level in the three Congress rule states may actually create more problems for the central leadership and for the Congress party and may not get the desired result which the BJP hopes to get by shuffling its fact pack in these three states. Thank you so much for watching. Do give in your reactions. We are going to be coming back next week with much, much more because the election season is around.